Today's topic is, is it dandruff or a dry scalp? Here's what you need to know. A dry scalp and dandruff are not that different when you look at their symptoms. They both cause the skin to dry up, itch, and develop flakes that fall off when that area of skin is rubbed. It is difficult to distinguish between the two because of this, and people usually differentiate between dandruff and dry scalp based on the type of flakes found on the skin. Large oily flakes usually point to dandruff. White, smaller, drier flakes signal a dry scalp. Furthermore, a dry scalp may also result in other parts of the body being affected along with the scalp. However, that is not enough to get a solid idea of the difference between the two. Let's look at just what makes the two different. Causes of dry scalp A dry scalp is caused by the skin losing moisture. Because of that, the skin becomes irritated and starts to fall off as flakes. This can happen anywhere on the body and can be aggravated by 1. Old age 2. Cold, dry air 3. Contact dermatitis caused by a reaction to hair products, and 4. Using products that remove moisture from the skin. Causes of dandruff Dandruff causes skin cells to shred more quickly, without leaving enough time for them to be replaced. It is caused by seborrheic dermatitis, a skin condition that results in oily, scaly red skin. Dandruff is often triggered by malassezia, a fungus that is usually found on the scalp. However, Seborrheic dermatitis can occur wherever there are oily glands beneath the skin, causing white or yellow flakes to fall off. Factors that can result in dandruff are 1. Stress 2. Underlying medical conditions 3. Hormone imbalance 4. Age Do you have dandruff? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you've enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel for more informative content. Treating a dry scalp Treating a dry scalp is simple. All you need is to use a gentle shampoo to wash your hair and follow it up with a quality conditioner. You can also apply a moisturizer to the affected area overnight and wash it out in the morning. A dermatologist can help with more serious cases by using steam for scalp treatment. Medical attention can also rule out skin conditions such as psoriasis or eczema. Treating dandruff For dandruff, treatment usually involves an anti-dandruff shampoo that you will need to apply for around a month. Make sure you consult a doctor before selecting a shampoo for treatment. You can also try tea tree oil to massage your scalp. The oil has antifungal properties which can help deal with fungus on your scalp. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.